the predictions that our Prophet Sallallahu predicted as well is the increase of natural calamities and especially of earthquakes. Kathratu Zalazil. Earthquakes would be on the rise. And I, I read a survey somewhere that somebody statistically compiled all the earthquakes of the last 500 years. And they did mention, this was a non-Muslim, there's an academic paper, uh, they did mention that over the last 100 years or so, the frequency of earthquakes has actually increased. So this is now basically a fact that in the last century or so, the frequency of earthquakes, just look at California and may Allah protect the Muslims and everybody over there. So the frequency of earthquakes is definitely on the um, rise. Of the predictions of the Prophet ﷺ as well, of the trends that are given. And again, this is very interesting. See, here's what I want you to think about. Just a hypothetical scenario. A'udhu billah, hypothetical. Imagine a, 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 a false prophet, a charlatan, in the middle you know, of nowhere, 1,500 years ago. And imagine if he had to make predictions. What I'm trying to say, it's impossible that what we are reading would have been predicted by a false prophet. The very notions that are coming indicate that the one who said this, Allah is communicating with him. That's what I'm trying to say. No one could have imagined what the Prophet predicted is going to happen and we are seeing it over here. And of the things he predicted is kitaba, writing would become prevalent. Writing would become prevalent. Literacy rates. Once again, who could have predicted? When the Quran was revealed in Mecca, the city of Mecca probably had around 2,000, 1,500 people, 2,000 people in it. Of those 1,500, 2,000, probably less than a dozen could read and write. That's like what? 1%. 1%. And our Prophet predicted, إِنَّ مِنْ عَلَامَاتِ السَّاعَةِ Of the signs of judgment day is kitaba will be prevalent. Remember, most of the Sahaba could not read and write because that was the society. That's nobody taught them. That's the way they were. To predict that reading and writing will become the norm, not just in Muslim lands, but in the globe, is once again beyond even understanding. And this is exactly what he predicted. Now, another prediction seems to contradict this one. And that's the hadith of Sahih Bukhari. The hadith of Kitaba is in Muslim Imam Ahmed. Sahih Bukhari mentions another prediction that, that one of the signs of the end of times is that ignorance will prevail. Jahl will be everywhere. Ignorance will prevail. Now, how can ignorance prevail? And at the same time, the Prophet is saying reading and writing will prevail. Is this not a contradiction? And the response is each hadith is valid but it applies to different things. When the Prophet ﷺ is saying, ignorance will prevail, he's not talking about reading and writing. He's talking about knowledge of right and wrong. He's talking about common sense. And when he's talking about kitaba, he's talking about literacy. Before the rise of the internet, those of you who witnessed that era, in the 80s and 90s, Mankind foolishly believed that if only we could give people access to education, they will all become intellectuals. The internet came and all of Encyclopedia Britannica times 100 became free of charge. Wikipedia and this and that. Any database you want is there, any journal you're there. And mankind has not gone more intelligent. It has even taken a nosedive beyond that. This is what our Prophet is saying. Kitaba will increase. Jahala will also increase. It's not a contradiction. Because not necessarily just because you're reading, your intelligence will increase. So there is no contradiction.